Hello, students. Welcome to Grade 12 Chemistry Revision Lesson on eSource. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to write the general structural formula of eSource, write the molecular formulas and names of some simple eSource, explain the chemical properties of eSource, explain the general methods of preparation of eSource students. If you are ready, then we will get started. Structure and nomenclature of esters. Esters are derivatives, derivatives of carboxylic acids in which the hydroxyl group of carboxylic acid has been replaced by an alkoxy group. As we said, carboxylic acids Carboxylic acids, RC, OOH plus alcohol, ROH, to form ester and water. The reaction is esterification reaction, R, C, O, O, R plus water, plus water, you see. Esters are derivatives of carboxylic acids in which the hydroxyl group, hydroxyl group of an acid, carboxylic acid, has been replaced by an alkoxy group, alkoxy group, to form ester and water. OH plus hydrogen gives water. Esters can be represented by the general formula RCOOR prime. See? The functional group of an ester is this, COO, is functional group of an ester. Esters are named. Esters are named by the common system as well as by IUPAC system. In both cases, the name consists of two parts. Students, in naming esters, first you have to name the alcohol portion, then name the acid portion. You see, carboxylic acid plus alcohol gives ester plus water. Now this portion is an acid portion. OH of the carboxylic acid, hydroxyl, has been replaced by alkoxy group of an alcohol. Therefore, the formula of an ester become RCO OR prime plus H plus plus OH is water. Now this is alcohol portion, this is acid portion. First you have to name the alcohol portion in naming esters, then name the acid portion. Names and formulas of some common esters. Structural formula CH3, COOCH3. Now, common name. First, you have to name the alcohol portion, which is methyl. Methyl acetate is common name of this ester. IUPAC name, methyl ethanoate. HCOOCH2CH3. Common name, alcohol portion, this is ethyl. Acid portion, formic acid. Therefore, ethyl formates. Are you pack name ethyl methanoate? CH3, CO, O, CH2, CH3. Common name, alcohol portion, ethyl. Acid portion, common name, ethyl acetate. Are you pack name ethyl ethanoate? HCOOCH2, CH2, CH3, common name propyl formate. Are you pack name propyl methanoate? Propyl acetate, propyl ethanoate. Therefore, in naming esters, first you have to name the alcohol portion, then name the ester, the acid portion. Students, let us practice this exercise 
you have three minutes. Welcome back again. How do you do it? Good. Let us do together. Name the following stars. As we said, in naming stars, first you have to name the alcohol portion. The alcohol portion, CH2CH3, is ethyl, 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 acid portion, ethanoate, ethyl, ethanoate. Or common name, Ethyl acetate, B, alcohol portion, phenyl, phenyl, acid portion, propanoate, propanoate, phenyl, propanoate, alcohol portion, methyl, methyl, acid portion, Benzoate, methyl benzoate. D, alcohol portion, ethyl. Ethyl. Acid portion, 1, 2, 3, 4, butanoate. Ethyl butanoate. Butanoate. Chemical properties of esters. What are the common reactions of ester? 1, Hydrolysis, the general reaction for acid catalyzed hydrolysis of esters can be written as, you see, acid catalyzed hydrolysis of esters gives carboxylic acids and alcohol. This is the general formula of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of ester 
to form carboxylic acids and alcohol. For example, write an equation showing the acid catalyzed hydrolysis of methyl benzoate. Methyl benzoate. Acid catalyzed hydrolysis of methyl benzoate gives benzoic acid and methanol. Benzoic acid and methanol. Ester reacts with water, you see, in the presence of an acid catalyzed by acid to form carboxylic acid and methanol. This is acid catalyzed hydrolysis of esters to form carboxylic acid and alcohol. Esters also undergo base catalyzed, base catalyzed hydrolysis to give salts of carboxylic acids and alcohols. Base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester gives salts of carboxylic acids and alcohol and this process is saponification. Sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide are the bases, are the bases generally used for hydrolysis. See? The general reaction for base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester is this. Ester plus sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide to form salts of the metal RCO or Na plus R prime OH. This is base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester to form salts of the ester and alcohol. For example, write an equation showing the base catalyzed hydrolysis of methyl octadecanoate. You see? Methyl octadecanoate react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium octadecanoate and alcohol. Base catalyzed hydrolysis of methyl octadecanoate result in the formation of methanol and sodium octadecanoate, salts of the ester and methanol. Reduction is another reaction of esters. See? Esters are reduced to primary alcohols by special reducing agents, which is known as lithium aluminium hydride. Therefore, esters are reduced into primary alcohols. RCOOR prime, in the presence of special reducing agent, which is lithium aluminium hydride, gives RCH2OH and R prime OH. For example, write an equation showing the reduction of methyl pentanoate. Now, methyl pentanoate reduced in the presence of special reducing agent, which is lithium aluminium hydride, to form methanol and one pentanol. See? Methanol and one pentanol. Therefore, esters are reduced by lithium aluminium hydride into two alcohols, two primary alcohols. Preparation of esters. How can we prepare esters? Esters can be synthesized by heating a mixture of carboxylic acid and an alcohol in the presence of acid catalyst such as sulfuric acid. Now this reaction is esterification reaction. The reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohol to form ester and water is esterification, formation of ester. You see? Carboxylic acid plus alcohol to form ester and water. For example, write an equation showing the preparation of methyl ethanoate from methanol and ethanoic acid. As we said, carboxylic acid, which is ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid plus methanol gives methyl ethanoate. You see? Hydroxy of the acid, carboxylic acid, has been replaced by alkoxy, by alkoxy to form 
methyl ethanoates and water in general carboxylic acids plus alcohol gives ester and water esters are prepared by esterification reaction fats and oils fats and oils are triesters they are triesters you see tri three esters see variation in the structure of fats and oils occur in the fatty acid portion of the triglyceride or triacyl glycerol yes variation between fats and oils is in the fatty acid portion in this portion fats and oils are represented by the following general structural formula this general structural formula represents fat or oil a triglyceride or triacyl glycerol made from glycerol and fatty acids you see this is the structure of glycerol now what is the difference between fat and oil fats are esters of glycerol and mostly saturated fatty acids fats are made mostly from glycerol from glycerol and saturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids glycerol plus saturated fatty acids gives fat now this is saturated fatty acid you see glyceryl triesterates or sterin the fat oils are made mostly from glycerol and unsaturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids plus glycerol results in the formation of oil oils are liquid esters primarily derived from unsaturated fatty acids and glycerol the acid parts of fat and oil almost always contain an even number of carbon atoms the structures of some common triglycerides are shown below you see this structure represent a fat this represents an oil because the fatty acid portion is unsaturated the fatty acid portion here is saturated hardening of oils what does hardening of oil means oils can be converted to fats by addition of hydrogen which is known as hydrogenation at high pressure in the presence of nickel or palladium catalyst therefore the process of converting oil to hard fats is known as hardening of oils this process is given here you see now this is an oil oil plus hydrogen in the presence of nickel or palladium catalyst gives hard fat you see hard fats as we said the fatty acid portion of an oil is unsaturated if hydrogen is added to the oil hydrogenation reaction therefore the oil is converted into hard fats we call it hardening of oils converting an oil using nickel or palladium as a catalyst soaps soaps are sodium or potassium salts of long chain fatty acids you see they are generally obtained by alkaline hydrolysis of oils and fats as we know oil or fats plus sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide gives soap and glycerol as a by product this process is known as saponification this reaction is known as saponification reaction formation of soap you see soaps are formed from fats or oil if fats 
or oils are mixed with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide results in the formation of soap and glycerol. A general reaction can be written as triglyceride or triester fats or oil plus sodium hydroxide gives yes, salts of or esters. This is RCO O minus NN soap soap plus glycerol as a byproduct. Students, in our today's lesson, we learned about esters. Esters are derivatives of carboxylic acids in which the hydroxyl group of carboxylic acid has been replaced by an alkoxy group. Reactions of esters, hydrolysis and reduction, acid catalyzed of esters give carboxylic acids and alcohol. Base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester gives salts of the ester and alcohol. Esters can be synthesized by heating a mixture of carboxylic acids and an alcohol in the presence of an acid catalyst such as sulfuric acids. Now this reaction is called esterification reaction. Fats and oils are triesters. Fats are made from glycerol and saturated fatty acids, whereas oils are made from glycerol and unsaturated fatty acids. Now this brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.